Our 10 o'clock news tonight, a civil lawsuit against Illinois State University now lays in the hands of the higher court. Good evening, I'm Janice Rebholtz. Seven pro-Palestine protesters are alleging that the university violated more than one of their constitutional rights. Madison Porter joins us to explain what the students are seeking in this case. Madison. Janice, just days after Illinois Attorney General's office filed criminal charges against the seven student protesters, the young adults fired back with a civil lawsuit accusing the school of violating their First and Fifth Amendment rights. But instead of hearing the case in McLean County, it is being moved to the U.S. District Court in Peoria. The encampment protests on ISU's quad lasted several days this past May, including before and after seven students were arrested for criminal trespassing on state land. The pro-Palestinian protesters pleaded with the school to reveal what companies it has invested in and to remove those that supported Israel. The seven students that were arrested were taken out of Hovey Hall, where the president's office is located, because the administration building had closed for the day. According to the lawsuit, Hubby Hall is a public place that has a long history of being the site of protests. The case listed six incidents dating back to the year 1919 where students marched for issues like women's suffrage. The accusations say the school violated freedom of speech because it was contrary to the beliefs of university administrators. After the arrests, the students were put on disciplinary probation in June, which is still in effect. Part of the lawsuit is a temporary restraining order banning their suspensions from happening. The students say in the lawsuit they want to continue their studies and not talk about either case until both have been decided. The order would also ban administrators from requiring students to write a plan for protesting on campus in compliance with university rules. The lawsuit alleges this is in violation of their Fifth Amendment rights because it would require them to participate in speech that they do not believe in. Plus, they believe it could be used against them in the pending criminal case. We reached out to the seven students involved in the case as well as their lawyer, but they all declined an interview while they wait for the legal proceedings. Janice.